Hi there, it's Margaret from Days Well Spent, and in today's video, we're going to show you how to make sugar water to feed your bees. The sugar water recipe that we're going to be using today is a one-to-one -one ratio since it's springtime. If it were fall or winter, then we would use a two-to-one ratio, and that would be two parts sugar to one parts water. But like I said, this is for springtime, and we're going to use a one-to-one -one ratio. You're going to need a gallon jug. You need a pot to heat your water in. For this, we're going to use two and a half quarts of water and five pounds of sugar. You're also going to need something to stir your sugar water mixture with. Now, depending on the mouth of your jug, you may need a funnel in order to pour your mixture into the jug for storage after it's cooled down. We're gonna begin by pouring our two and a half quarts of water into our pan. We're gonna turn this on and wait for it to come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, we'll go ahead and turn it down on low and add in our sugar. As you can see, the water has come to a boil. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it down to low now. That's going to keep the water hot as we add the sugar. Now for your sugar, you do wanna make sure that you're using 100% pure cane sugar. I'm gonna pour in about half of it. We're gonna stir it and we're watching for it to dissolve. And as you can see, as it dissolves, the water goes back to being clear. And we'll add a little more of the sugar. See, it doesn't take long at all for the sugar to dissolve in that boiling water. Let's go ahead and add the rest of the sugar. Okay, at this point we have a one-to-one -one ratio in here. That was five pounds of sugar to two and a half quarts of water. At this point all the sugar is dissolved. I've got my burner turned off and I'm going to let this cool down before I pour it into the gallon jug. Now what I'm going to do is store it in the gallon jug and then from there we'll pour it into our spray bottle that we use to spray the bees and into our bee feeder. So now that sugar water's cooled, I'm going to go ahead and get it poured into my measuring cup. It's just going to make it easier to pour into the gallon container. Once you get all of your sugar water poured into your storage container, you can store it at room temperature or in the refrigerator. If you have any questions about making your sugar water for your bees, let me know and I'll be happy to answer them.